What is up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Skyrim Special Edition coming out in October the 28th this year. And most importantly, is it actually worth it? Now there are a few videos on YouTube about this topic already, but after watching some of them, I found a lot of them lacked information and some of them didn't really explain the limit of console mods on the Xbox One and PS4, and also the changes in graphics and what this means. So Skyrim Special Edition is a graphically enhanced version that includes all downloadable content. So you're going to get Dawn Guard, Dragonborn and Hearthfire and the graphical enhancement and the access to console mods within this game. So firstly, let's just clarify if you're on PC and you already have Skyrim and all its downloadable content, or if you have Skyrim Legendary Edition, then you'll be getting the Skyrim remaster for free at no extra cost. Great. And just a quick tip, if you don't have it yet on PC, you can get the Legendary Edition, it's on sale right now for about $15, which works out a ton of a lot cheaper than just buying the new game. I'll link you that in the description below so you guys can check it out. If you are on console, either PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you're going to need to buy the game. It's going to cost you $60. It doesn't matter if you had it on PS3 or Xbox 360, you must still buy it for $60. I'm not going to talk about whether I agree with this or not right now, but this is a standard remaster sale. Lots of other companies have done this. We seem to be in kind of like the age of the remasters. Whether I think Bethesda jumping on the bandwagon with this one is a good idea, I'll talk about that in another video. Personally, I think more Skyrim is always good though. So let's talk about the graphic improvements, and then I'll explain the issue of modding Skyrim and clear up some rumours. Now, graphically, for PC players. We can actually already mod the game to look like the Skyrim Special Edition, but we're getting it for free on PC, and I think that's a solid move by Bethesda. Now the remaster does look beautiful. It's obviously nothing new if you're on PC, but if you're on console, this is going to be pretty great. They've got improved lighting, shadows, and we can see they have god rays in the trailer too. So overall, it does look a lot more atmospheric. The game's also going to have a new dynamic depth of field, which to me adds a lot of immersion and realism. And of course, these changes mean that you won't be needing an EMB mod as you did previously in Skyrim. You can, however, still use EMBs to customize the game to your personal taste. And to be honest, the current EMBs that exist right now on PC will actually have some superior alternative options to create the effects that we see in the new version. So it is really about your personal taste there. Now, a lot of people have been saying on Reddit that they think that anti-aliasing will be pretty bad. And if Fallout 4 is anything to go by, I'm going to bet they're right. If you didn't know, anti-aliasing is basically a software that removes jagged edges so that they appear as smooth lines. It's especially useful at higher resolutions like 1080p, which is obviously something I'm familiar with because I always record at that. Oh, and also it's been confirmed that your saves will transfer over to the remastered edition if you're on PC. Unfortunately, again, if you're on console, this won't be the case. But I mean, personally, I'm going to be restarting a new character anyway. That aside though, let's talk about mods. You're definitely going to want to stick around to hear this even if you're on console or PC. Now there's been a bit of misguidance by other YouTubers and actually Bethesda as well saying that your Skyrim mods will work on the remastered edition. Now what they should have probably said was that mods that are small enough to be uploaded to Bethesda net and don't rely or require any other mods in order to function will be usable on Skyrim Special Edition. And I'm going to explain the implications of that now. So if you're a PC player, you might be thinking that you can just take your heavily modded Skyrim game and just start up Skyrim Remastered when it comes out and you'll be fine. Please don't shoot the messenger, but that's probably not going to be the case. Or almost definitely not going to be the case. A lot of the mods that you see on PC, like Frostfall, Sky UI, and advanced combat mods like the Dance of Death and so on all require the script extender in order to work. And the script extender will currently not work with the Skyrim Special Edition. So it's going to need to be reworked and obviously that's going to take time. And when it does come out, it will still then take even more time to update to the point that it's at now. And I'm talking months and months of work here. 
and lots of really high quality great mods rely on the script extender so this is obviously going to affect them. All these mods will need to be tweaked to fit the new Skyrim remaster and that's going to take time. And even when the script extender does come out, it will most likely not be available for console users. And that's just down to technical difficulties and not time. It's probably never going to be available. You might however see reiterations of popular mods that are then made available on console mods to try and get as close to the original as possible. But I'll talk about that another time. So what mods will work on console? Well, bad news aside, there are literally tons of mods that will be coming to console and you guys are going to have the best time ever. Now I'll be leaving some recommended mods down in the description that you may like to download on your console. Obviously we don't know yet if they're all going to be available on console and when they'll be available, but they're definitely going to be mods that you want to keep an eye on. And feel free to suggest mods in the comment section below and I'll add them to the list. I highly suggest that you start with the quest mods though, like Moonpath or Helgen Reborn. There are so many mods that add these really interesting quests into the game. And I mean, it's just going to extend your game limitlessly. I know Skyrim's five years old, but people are still working really hard making all these amazing mods. This game just won't die. Also, as a side note, you won't be getting the Thomas the Tank Engine Dragon Replacer because Bethesda.net won't allow copyrighted material. Which is unfortunate because that mod is a great laugh. But in terms of advancing the graphics further on the Skyrim Special Edition on console, we can actually do that using texture mods. The main limitation being the size limit of the mod, as it has to be uploaded to Bethesda.net. I also highly doubt that the Xbone or the PS4 will be able to handle 4K leaves, but at the end of the day you don't actually necessarily need to have 4K textures in order to make your game look really good. It just And of course you'll have access to follower mods, weapon mods, it will basically be the modded Fallout 4 counterpart, you guys know what it's like now to have console mods. So is all this stuff worth it? Well, to answer that question, it really does depend on you. I'm going to answer that question by saying I've got about 3,000 hours in this game, so I've definitely got my money's worth. Compared to most other AAA games that retail for $60 and have a pitiful 5-hour campaign, you know here with Skyrim what you're getting. And of course, with the advantage of mods, you can expand your game infinitely, within reason of course. So you'll be getting that extra playtime guaranteed. So without a doubt, I think it's worth it. But obviously, it's up to you whether you think you're going to take the plunge or not. I mean, I remember since the PS4 and Xbox One came out, people were asking me if they were going to do a Skyrim Remastered Edition. And I was just thinking that would be the best idea ever. And here it is. $60 is a big price tag though. And I do think that if you wait a month after its release, you can get it for cheaper. If you are on PC, however, yes, you do get the game for free and by all means go and try it out. But if you play a heavily modded version of Skyrim, I do suggest that you just stick with the standard edition and give it some time. Just until all these mods are updated and are made compatible with the Skyrim Remastered Edition. And that will take time. I do really hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think this video really needed to be made in order to clear up the rumours and just answer the stream of questions that people send me. But I'd still be really interested to know what your thoughts are on the Skyrim Remastered Edition, if you're going to pick that up straight away or what you're thinking. If you do have any questions or just want to stay tuned for the latest news, you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and I'll leave the links to that in the description below. As a quick piece of good news though, a silver lining to this cloud, I am planning to start doing YouTube full time in mid-August. So if you didn't know, I've been doing a degree in architecture, working part time obviously to fund that degree because YouTube just doesn't cover that. And then obviously doing YouTube on the side for fun and also to help fund that degree as well. I've now finished that degree. It was in architecture by the way, I know people are going to ask me. It was absolutely fantastic. And now I've decided that now is the best time to start doing YouTube full time. I won't tell you why in this video, I might make another video about that if you guys want me to. But I just want to take it to the next level now, so you can expect an increase in content around mid-August. I also have so many videos planned for Skyrim. I know that game's over 5 years old, 
People keep telling me, ESO man, you're going to run out of content for Skyrim. Oh, like he's running out of ideas, stuff like that. Guys, that is if never going to happen. The creative mind sure, knows no bounds. I'll make another video talking about this in more detail. Did but from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for all your support across the years. Right you guys are the absolute best. Sorry for going off topic uh, here, but have a lovely day and I'll catch you guys in the next video guide. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Peace out.